Hi everybody, Kevin McNamara here. Welcome to the Inspired Healing Podcast, proudly sponsored by 100 Days to Self Mastery Challenge. That is a challenge where you get to go inside, select your own challenge. It can be anything at all, but know this, it will change your mind, body and soul. There's a seven day free trial right now. Links are down below. Go and check it out. Now here's today's episode. Hey everybody, it's Kev here. Consistency, discipline, massive action is what will take you to the highest level this year. Keep doing it, keep being consistent, keep being disciplined, keep taking massive action, and you will get where you want to go. Now, today I'm gonna talk about something a little bit different. It's all about confronting your own mortality, your own death. I've been reading Robert Greene's book, which is the 50th law, which which is all about 50 cent, you know, Curtis Jackson, uh, the, the rapper. And they wrote this book together. It's a fascinating book and really inspiring. It's all about really facing your fears. And chapter 10 is all about confronting your mortality. It's the last chapter in the book. So I'm going to quote a few things from there today. But it's such an important thing to really help you to really understand how important your life is and how death can happen to any of us. And usually when we're facing that mortality, we can do one of two things. We can try and avoid that thought altogether and we just cling to that you know the thoughts that we have all the time in the world that kind of illusion if you like or we can confront the reality accept and really actually embrace it you know we can sort of convert our consciousness of death into something pretty positive and active and when we adopt that really fearless kind of approach and it is a fearless approach we gain a sense of proportion. We become able to separate what is petty in our life from what is really, really important, the important things. You know, when we know our days are numbered, and they are, they all are, we all die. You know, even the great sports players, the great you know, actors of the world all die. They're just like us. They really are. And when we acknowledge that, when we know that we are going to die and our days are numbered, we have this real sense of urgency and a real mission. And we can really appreciate life, every little part of it, because it is impermanent. Life isn't permanent. It's not, we're just here for a short time. And if we can really overcome that fear of death, then what else is there to fear? There's nothing else to fear once you get through that. There's a guy, Frederick Douglass, this is a quote from him. He was a slave back in America. And he said, I'd reached the point at which I was not afraid to die. This spirit made me a free man, in fact, while I remained a slave in form. What he's saying there, he was still a slave, but he wasn't afraid to die. So he was a free man. And I just love that. So when you choose to affirm life, acknowledge life by confronting the fact that you're going to die everything changes you know what matters to you now is to live your days as best you possibly can as fully as you possibly can and you can do this by you know chasing after you know lots and lots of pleasure but nothing becomes more boring more quickly than having to always you know search for something new I mean people do that now they're looking for pleasure everywhere and they're never satisfied But if attaining goals, you know, really going after your goal, and if reaching your goals, if that becomes your greatest source of pleasure, then your days are going to be filled with this real purpose, this real meaning, this real direction, as Dr. Jordan Peterson talks about. And whenever death comes, you've got no regrets because you've lived your purpose, your your real meaning, you've got direction. You have no regrets. And you don't fall into that nihilistic thinking and for those that don't know what nihilistic means, it means that you you think that there's no hope for you. You just think the world is just, there's just no hope for humankind and no hope for you. So you don't fall into that nihilistic thinking about, you know, the futility of it all, because that is the supreme waste of time in your life that you've been given. If you just think there's nothing worth living for. So really, in our normal kind of perspective the way we see things we see death as something that is really opposed to life a kind of a separate event that is the end of our living and when we think that way it's kind of a thought that we dread we avoid it 
and we sort of hold it in, inside. Our death is actually inside us. The day we're born, this energy that is death is inside us because we all die. But it's really is, it's a false thing to do if you're dreading death. And if you're dreading it, that is an idea that is actually born out of our fear. There's a fear there. You know, life and death are inextricably intertwined. They're not separate. One can't exist without the other. You can't just be born and never ever die. And you can't die without being born. So from the moment we're born, we carry our death, as I say, inside ourselves. And it's a continuous possibility. It's there. To try and avoid that thought, we keep you know, death on the outside. We're cutting ourselves off from life as well, from real life. And if we're afraid of death, then you know what? We're afraid of life. And we need to turn that perspective around and really face dying from within, finding a way to accept and embrace death as part of us actually being alive. And it's only from that perspective that you can be, you know, begin to overcome the fear of, of our mortality. And then all the smaller fears that plague our lives just dissolve. I'm just going to end this little talk now, which is a different talk for me, but I found it so powerful just reading this particular chapter of the book. And this is from 50 Cent himself. And those who don't know 50 Cent, back in, I think it was 95 or 96, he was just sort of starting out. He'd been a hustler on the street selling drugs, all that kind of thing. Owed some people some money. You know, he was just getting into his music. He'd got a, a contract with Columbia, I think it was. And what happened was a guy just rocked up to him. He was in the back, of, the back seat of one of his friend's cars. And a guy rocked up with a gun and just shot him nine times from virtually point blank. Somehow he survived. I don't know how, but he did. And this is a quote from him. He says, When I nearly died, it made me think, This can happen again any second. I better hurry and do what I want. I started to live like I never lived before. When the fear of death is gone, then nothing can bother you and nobody can stop you. 50 cent. That's it, guys. Imagine embracing death and just realizing it's a part of our DNA. We're all going to die and just taking it on and saying, yep, I've got to live. And use that as motivation. Use that as fuel to really move you forward. So a big thanks to Robert Green. I want to acknowledge him and his great book. He's written some amazing books. There's another great book called Mastery, which I just love. And what I was quoting from today was from his book called The 50th Law. And it's all about 50 cent in his life. But also there's other um, examples of people who have really become fearless. And it's all about becoming fearless. That's what 50 cent did. That's how he succeeded, just becoming fearless. And just, as I say, that's the last chapter in the book. And it really does sum it all up just accepting death it's going to happen and letting that fuel your life to become the best you can and a lot of that is being consistent being disciplined and taking massive action this is your year go out and grab it now i'll see you tomorrow thank you so much for listening i really do appreciate that if you enjoyed this episode then please subscribe rate and leave a review for the inspired healing podcast on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app. And don't forget, come and join me inside the 100 Days to Self Mastery Challenge so you too can change your mindset and your life. We now have a seven-day free trial. Go and check it out. Link is in the show notes below. And please have a most inspiring day.